Yeah, there's only three types of people in this world. One who's been scammed and knows it, one who's been scammed and doesn't know it, and someone who hasn't been scammed yet. Hi, honey. We're home. It's possible for a hacker to infiltrate your computer and take it over. And they can do this with thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of normal computers. How can you stop it? You can't stop it. Because it's coming from everywhere. so good at what they do. I want you about scams and rip-offs, and tonight, on your side, an investigator Anna Song hits a story about the ultimate scam that built a local woman out of $400,000. Hook, line, and sinker, you might say. <laughs> I swallowed the hook. It's a very complicated, very convoluted story that they're running her through. OK, Mom, what's going on this week? It was like you need a program. You lose money, you lose the love of your husband, you lose your job. It's everything. It's been very painful for me to watch them go through this. I know that she needs help. I don't know how they're going to make it. It drives me bloody nuts that somebody's somebody's gone to her that badly. You kind of get fed up of being on the defensive. It's like, you know what, it's time to actually go on the offensive a little bit. If somebody does wrong to you, you can call the police. In this case, you have nothing. Who polices the internet? Nobody. I don't know of a whole lot of real-world vigilantes. I've heard a lot about it, but I'm not sure it really exists. A lot of people have no clue what I do. I chase bad guys for a living, and then just leave it at that. Cyber is invisible. And if you can't see it, maybe it doesn't exist. Yeah.